Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we are going to be doing some neato things with the filter section of a wavetable. And I want to make a bass that sounds uh, quite bassy, I guess. So I'm going to select on oscillator one, a saw wave. I'm going to shorten the release a bit. And I'm going to use one of the coolest models. So how Wavetable works is it has the same filter as the auto filter, which was a complete redesign in version 9, I believe. And it has different modes. I think it was like 9.1 or something. So there's clean, which is like, you know, clean filter, OSR, MS2, SMP. And uh, these are different kind of filter algorithms with uh, different kinds of characteristics and one of the coolest ones in my opinion is ms2 which is from the you know the the the, the synth from korg and it has a drive um, kind of situation here and it has a different characteristic so i'll, I'll uh, let you know what that sounds like right now so you bring that down and you want to boost the drive and what that does is it adds in a, kind of like a, a beefiness to the whole thing It kind of like folds back onto itself. I'll uh, get some resonance going on to kind of highlight that area. It's doing a thing that's clicking. I don't like that. So I'm just going to increase the release a little bit. All right, and that's all well and good. But let's say I want to do something else. Let's uh, drop in another filter. Like this, a band pass, and uh, right now we have uh, two kind of combined filters. And you can do stuff, so I'm kind of highlighting the low end. It's acting kind of like a, I don't know, I guess you'd call it a an EQ. It's a bit of character. I'll go OSR. Right, and you can do all sorts of stuff with that. Let's take this a step farther. So there's different ways to route um, your filters. Uh, right now, we have filter one, which is a section, going into filter two. That is serial. But we can go parallel. So the audio from oscillator one and two are split. And uh, they go into each of these filters independently. And you get a completely different character. So they're kind of put together. So I'll just play the one. And that's uh, adding a bit of uh, you know, low-end grit. And then we have this one right here, which is giving us like the mid-range bite, if I can make up words. Right? And uh, you know, we're clipping, but um, you know, if you ain't you ain't redlining, you ain't headlining. So we have that, and that uh, that works out quite well. But let's do something a little bit different. I'm going to add in a new wavetable um, instance. I have one set to saw. Bring the release down again. And I want to use the split mode. So oscillator 1 is going into filter one and oscillator two is going into filter two. So let's get that going on. So I want oscillator two to be a square wave and uh, let's get that going on. We'll have a, yeah, we'll give it uh, two uh, low pass filters and I'll use MS2 and I will have maybe this one going down an octave. And then oscillator one, I'll have here. And use the same one. Sounds. Maybe I'll have it up. We don't need the sub. We need something a little bit higher. And so yeah, oscillator one is here. Oscillator two is there. And we can do some really neat things. 
All right, so there's a little bit of low end there. And we could do all sorts of stuff with that. So that is uh, the basic gist of the, uh, the filtering in there. And we're just using basic shapes. And we don't even have the sub engaged. We can engage that. And I'm not quite sure. I think this sub completely bypasses, doesn't it? I'll turn those off. Yeah, it does bypass, but that's okay. Right, and that is uh, the, the filtering you can do with that. I uh, hope that was uh, educational. Hope you guys learned stuff. Take care and have a good one.